welcome to this NXCA quick tip. This quick demonstration will show how we can perform an optimization on this helicopter crank arm where the objective is to minimize its weight while maintaining structural integrity. First, let's explore the model. We see two pairs of forces in opposite directions in the Z direction on both sides of the arm. Then we can see the arm is constrained and fixed in translation in the X, Y, and Z directions. This model has already been solved, and if we look at the results, we can take a look at the nodal displacement in the z-direction and notice a max displacement of 0.129 millimeters at the two arms. This is important as this will be used later when setting the constraints on the optimization. Geometry optimization requires varying design parameters to meet the objective. So opening the CAD part shows the underlying features. In this case, a synchronous technology move face feature. This feature moves the highlighted faces in the negative y direction and will be used as the design variable. Going back to the sim file, we can create a new optimization solution process. Note that to run a solution process, we need a solution to exist first, as we do in this case. First, we define the objective, which is to minimize the overall weight of the component. Then we need to define the constraints, which here is to ensure there is a maximum displacement of 0.5 millimeters in the positive z direction relating it to the results I showed you earlier. We then define the design variable which we will allow to vary to meet our design objective. In this instance, the direct modeling feature that controls the arm length, which I showed earlier and we set an upper and lower limit to define the convergence criteria. Finally, we start a solve and immediately what is different from a traditional solve is we have a spreadsheet that pops up and tracks the conversions of our design objective. In this case, weight minimization. Once the solve is complete, the spreadsheet summarizes the convergence of the objective, the constraints, and the design variable. What we see here is over the four design cycles the weight converges from 47.5 newtons to 46.3. Similarly the crank arm length feature converges from minus 25 millimeters to 44.9 millimeters within just within the lower limit. And finally we see a displacement of 0.1 millimeters well within the criteria we set. Finally we can see the graphical representation of the convergence of the objective and the design variable respectively. We can close the spreadsheet and go back to the simulation file and open the results. And here we can take a look at all the different four design cycles that were created and look at the results in the Z di direction. And we can see that the displacements are well within the limits as noted from the spreadsheet. We can then go ahead and animate the results over these iterations and see that the maximum displacement is within the maximum of 0.5 millimeters and observe how over the design cycle the geometry is physically changing based on the changes of the design variable. The powerful thing here is these changes are captured in the initial part and thus by doing an optimization run not only do you have know the components meet your specific design requirements but you have a CAD model that is ready to be used in downstream applications. As always, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up or a kudo and leave some feedback if you have any questions. Thanks.